I just make films the way I like. Adur graduated from the Film and Television Institute of India in 1965. He went back to Kerala and in the same year was one of the key players in the setting up of a film cooperative in Trivandrum. Adur had already written and directed more than 20 plays. He was clear about the kind of films he wanted to make. Swambaram, Adur's first film, was a direct product of the film cooperative, not just in terms of finance, but of theme. Swambaram went on to win four national awards. Yet it was a gap of five years before Adur found the money to make his second film, Kudiyatam. It is his most lyrical film, with rare poetic realism. Elipathayam was also Adur's first film in colour. I told myself that I had to use colour very, very carefully because each uh, element of colour had to be, to mean something. It had to promote a dramatic purpose. How much of film is cheating? Well, as long as you are driving at the reality, you want to give the impression, it is justified. Actually, it's not cheating. It's just playing on their gullibility. It's not really cheating. I wouldn't want to cheat the audience. From the social to the political dimension of change was a small step. Mukhamukham is divided into two parts. The first deals with the period just before the 1957 victory of the Communist Party in the state. When you make a film in Kerala, you have to necessarily have the, the politics as at least the background of what is going on. Because unless you show that interaction between political ideology and the lives lived here, you will be making some very untrue statements. My political ideology it can be explained as a certain kind of humanism, not beyond that. Adur's next quest was that of the psychological. He drew on his memories of childhood, adolescence and young adulthood. The profound influences from these three stages of his life in the cultural milieu of Kerala play their part in Anantaram. His films seem deceptively simple in narrative and structure as each one probes a serious concern, striking universal resonances. Inspired by Gandhi, there is an economy and a simplicity in both his lifestyle and in his work. Women have always been portrayed with strong character in Adur's films, sometimes even stronger than men. There is also a degree of repressed sexuality in the man-woman relationship. Oh. I grew up in a single parent situation. There are so many families in Kerala where women take the lead and then bring up their children. They may suffer themselves, but then they see that the children get good education. And uh, in Kerala, particularly, house households can really stand on its own, you know, when, uh, even when a, a woman of the house is the head of the family. It is not merely human characters in Adur's films that hold center stage, but the spaces he uses as well. Time and history play an important role in Adur's films. An overtly metaphorical film, Kathapurushan is a culmination of many of Adur's lifelong concerns about politics, culture, social status, love and individual freedom. It weaves a historical perspective into the personal.
become another person even without the change of dress and all that only in your bhava in your expression you become the other person the kodiyattu is very well known for that structurally the film is a projection of the past into the present a, a present which is continuous because the real incident of his having hanged somebody who was innocent happened in the past he lives in a in a, a no man's uh, area so it is possible for him to imagine each character of the story is being narrated uh, to transpose them into his own people you gives and also you take away things so you you are the sin and also the sinner vyathastharaya sthreelude kadha parayna cinemayana naalu pannangal ibide ee naalu sreenigalil nilkuna kadha paathrangalilude urithiriyuna oru pramayam undu adu sthree thande swatham aa avabodham avlu kandathunnane pettiyanu aara adu nyana keshavan ഒരു പ്രത്യേക കാലഘട്ടം ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്ന കുറ്റകൃത്യങ്ങൾക്ക് പ്രേരണയാകുന്ന കാലഘട്ടത്തെ പറ്റിയും അപ്പോഴത്തെ മനുഷ്യരെ പറ്റിയും പറയുന്ന ഒരു 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 നാല് കഥകളുടെ ഒരു ശൃംഖലയാണ് ഇവിടെയും കഥാപാത്രങ്ങൾ തമ്മിൽ യാതൊരു ഓരോ കഥയിലെയും കഥാപാത്രങ്ങളും അതിലെ കഥാവിഷയവുമായിട്ട് പരസ്പരം ബന്ധമില്ല പക്ഷെ ഇതിനെല്ലാം ബന്ധിപ്പിക്കുന്നത് ഈ കുറ്റകൃത്യങ്ങളുടെ ഒരു ഒരു പശ്ചാത്തലം ആ കാലഘട്ടം കാഴ്ചവെക്കുന്നു എന്നുള്ളത് കൊണ്ടാണ് ഓർ എനിവേർ എൽസ് 